Learn and play online. States of matter. Everything that exists in our world is made up of something called matter. Matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. This table is made up of matter. The water in the vase is made up of matter. And even the steam coming from this hot coffee is made up of matter. Even though they are all made up of matter, it does not make them the same because they are made up of different forms of matter. There are three different forms or states of matter. The table is an example of a solid. The water is liquid. And the steam rising from the hot coffee is an example of a gas. To determine whether something is a solid, liquid or gas, we need to look at the properties of the three states of matter. All matter, whether solid, liquid or gas, are made up of tiny particles that we call atoms. To make it easier to understand, you can think of atoms as tiny building blocks that make up all the matter that surrounds us. Remember, matter is something that takes up space and has mass. When determining the state of matter of something, we can look at three main things – its shape, its volume and its mass. When examining its shape, we can ask ourselves, does it have a fixed shape? This means that an object will retain its shape and it won't change its shape to fill a container. When examining its volume, we are looking at how much space it may take up. And when looking at its mass, we are examining how much matter or substance something has. Let's start with the properties of solid matter. Solids are easy to recognize as they are everywhere. Books, toys and fruit are all examples of solids. Solid matter have the following properties. Solid matter has a fixed shape and it is rigid. Rigid means that it would be difficult or impossible to bend. Solids have volume and mass that are constant, which means it stays the same. This is because the atoms that make up the solid matter are tightly packed together. So all of these solid objects will retain the same shape, volume and mass, even if moved from one place to another or even if put into boxes or containers. A solid's shape, mass or volume will change only if external force is applied. Like in this example, the piggy bank is smashed into pieces and so its original shape, volume and mass will be changed. Now let's move on to properties of liquid matter. Some examples of liquids are juice, water and milk. Liquid matter does not have its own shape, rather it takes the shape of its container. The volume and mass of liquids are also constant and stay the same. Atoms in liquid matter are still close together but flow freely past one another unlike the atoms in solid matter. The last state of matter to explore is gas. Gases are harder to identify because they are often invisible. However, they are still considered as matter because they take up space and definitely have mass. The air you breathe is an example of a gas. And if you blow air into a balloon, and compare its mass to that of an empty balloon, the one you blew up will have more mass than the empty one. Gas matter has no definite shape or volume and gases take up the entire space of its container. This is because the atoms in gas matter are spread out so far apart that they can move freely in and out of the space it uses. If it is not contained, the gas will continue to move and spread out indefinitely, just like the steam coming from this boiling kettle. Some examples of gas include helium, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Now that you have learned about the three states of matter, why don't you try and list some different examples of solids, liquids and gases. Thanks for watching! Please remember to subscribe for more videos.